What is up guys? What is up Iron Throttle family? We out here in California, Los Angeles. It's beautiful weather, beautiful day to be riding. I'm gonna go meet up my homie Jared and uh probably do some riding, get something to eat. It's uh Cinco de Mayo. So happy Cinco de Mayo to all of y'all. Today we're gonna be talking about the club style why I chose the club style why a lot of people choose the club style why the club style is the ideal way to go so uh, let's do this alright let's do this Hitting the freeways out here in California, 101 northbound. Let's go. So, uh, before talking about why I chose the club style, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was not the style that I actually intentionally decided to go on. Originally, I wanted to go on with the with the bobber style. That's the style I was actually initially gonna be going for, but I chose the club style and I'll let you know why. So, this bike right here is my daily rider. And I ride with this, I take this everywhere I go. And um, I said, you know what? As much as I love the look of the barber style, it is not ideal for long distance riding, for daily riding. And uh, I gotta give it up to those lane splitter guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of them, but uh, they're they're very they're very famous for making barber styles, whether it be Hondas or Sportsters. And uh, shovel heads, knuckle heads. If you guys haven't heard of them, I, I suggest that you guys check them out. They have very, very, very nice bikes. Um, but it's not really comfortable. It's like more of an aesthetic look and uh, a narrow look. So, you, you know, you, you can be able to get around town. So uh, props to Lane Split uh, Boulevard because they ride and they ride distance. Not that long ago, this past weekend actually, they rode from up north, uh, Northern California, all the way to Southern California. That is a freaking ride, man. That is that is not an easy ride, especially on a, on a barber. What is a, what is a club style? So the club style look is, uh, you normally you have your T-bars or your risers with the drag bars. Um, and then you have your your fairing or your windshield and you have your essential uh, bar bag um, you have uh, you have your two into one exhaust you have your 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 MX pegs um, your bunkings or any type of crash bar um, you have a lot of them rock the saddleman seat. Uh, typically for the fairing or windshield is uh, Memphis Shades. Um, but obviously there's so many parts out aftermarket uh, parts and that's just you know what what uh, most people do though. So it's it's a very comfortable and ideal style. So, which is why I chose the the club style. Like I said, I wasn't gonna go for it because it wasn't a look, especially for a sports car. It wasn't a look that I I I dig. Um, I do dig the club style. I just didn't think it would, you know, suit my sports car. So uh, after some time, I, I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I have to do this a purpose build because this is my daily rider this is the only thing I use to to get around 
and uh, sometimes I ride pretty far. My brother lives in Palmdale, which is a pretty long ride. Sometimes, you know, we go we go different places. Sometimes we do group rides, and those group rides are are pretty far. The other day, I did probably like a few hundred miles in one day, and uh, on a on a barber, it just wouldn't be ideal. And so. I said, you know what? I gotta, I gotta go with the the club style. So on my club style Sportster, I have the Bitwell Tyson six, uh, 14 inch, sorry, the 14 inch uh, T bars. I have right now at this very moment the Memphis Shades Del Rey, which is uh, it's doing pretty job, pretty good um, with the highways. A lot better than what I expected, but uh, that review will be coming in soon for the one month review of having it. And then uh, let's see. I have a Mustang two and up, two up seat. I have the TBR, which is a, a very, very nice sounding and a performance um, exhaust. A lot of people either go with the TBR or the Bassani. And then there's another one that uh, you know Sons of Anarchy uses, and uh, a lot of people use that one because of Sons. Uh, but there are a lot of a lot of uh, two into one exhaust out there. Uh, two into one, you'll mostly get performance out of it, and not just that that sound. And then um, I got my San Diego Customs uh, handlebar bag. I also have a Kuryakin in the front. I have a quad lug for my navigation. I have a Burley's. Uh, I have a Burley MX uh, pegs, which are actually uh, bottle openers. I gotta, I gotta show you guys that one day. I've never used it, but they are bottle openers. So uh, maybe I'll hit that up on the Instagram, uh, show you guys how it works. Maybe do a reel or something or TikTok. It's uh, pretty badass. And then um, on my, for my crash bar, I have the Bunk Kings, and it has like on the side plates, it has uh, the California state logo but yeah that's that's pretty much why I went for the club style the look of it is is pretty dope it's pretty badass I have to admit I just didn't expect to do it on a Sportster um, and uh, it's 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 very purpose-built especially for anyone who's looking to do long-distance riding uh, if you have a sportster and it's hard for you to keep up with people or or just a lot of wind deflection you're looking for something hit up Memphis Shades Memphis Shades has the the road warrior for the sportster and they also have a uh, different type of windshields um, I usually rock the Del Rio after this Del Rey I'm gonna install the Del Rio Grande which I'm assuming is gonna be wonderful um, but let me know what kind of style you guys dig or what kind of style you guys have on your sporty oh, Woo! we hit traffic oh that's another thing about the club style is that you got your t-bars so it's so much easier to lane split uh, the bike came with mini ape hangers which uh came out a little bit more 12 inch and it was just a little bit harder to uh, lane split with the t-bars you're able to control the bike a lot better and uh it's it's a lot easier to lane split or just to get around if you guys are looking for a purpose-built bike i would i would highly recommend the club style whether it be a sportster whether it be a honda or whether it be your dyna your soft tail uh club style you know i i love of how effective it is it just makes your rides a lot more comfortable a lot easier and it's just your ideal uh, your ideal ride uh, that being said i i once i do get a bigger bike maybe either a dyna soft tail or maybe even a bagger i do think i would rather do that a club style bike and then go to my initial plans for this bike and do this uh, a and 
and make this bike into a, a bobber style because uh to this day i still dig that look but obviously the bike would be more of an around town bike for me and then my other bike my bigger bike would probably be my 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 distance riding bike so uh, for those who are wondering, would I ever trade in my sports shirt? Nope. No, I wouldn't. I love this bike. It's so nimble. You can get around. But uh, until then, we're going to keep this bike club style and then hopefully upgrade soon. But that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this uh, episode. Or this video if you guys did enjoy it make sure you guys hit that thumb button make sure you guys hit that subscribe button make sure you guys hit that bell notification so that way you guys know when I upload my videos uh, and if you guys are loving this content and you guys are already subscribed make sure you guys share this kind of kind of content to maybe to someone who you think would also like it Sp spread the word you know uh, but that is it for me. I am uh, going to go ahead out and meet out Jared. Maybe do a video with him. Do a photo shoot. Get something to eat. Uh, well, we'll see. Oh. That was close. I am out. God bless you all. Make sure you guys ride safe out there. Keep your head in the swivel. It can be dangerous out there, so just keep your head in the swivel and uh, stay safe, guys. Until next time, I'm out.